Hi, this is Tapcat and Ray, and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Uh, we're getting ready to go out on a guerrilla ops mission. Now, I had originally thought that Saiken was going to do one of these yesterday, but he decided to go take out the hunter. So it falls on us to try and get this done. I'm going to go for the intel reward so we can unlock the last alien facility that's currently on the map. But um, this is going to be a tough mission. We have to protect the device, which at this stage of the game is pretty dicey. We have a Spectre Prime, a Gatekeeper Prime, and a Mouton Prime all on this map. 13 enemies. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm a little, a little stressed about it. But I have put together the best squad I could manage. Unfortunately, we have a lot of guys who are tired. A couple guys are doing bonding training and so forth. And so I'm bringing two sergeants on this, which at this, again, this phase of the campaign, that is not the best. But I'm, I'm working with what I got. So hopefully we can make a go of this. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. All right. Um, so it's a ways up there. Heading out. Okay. You know, I'm pretty tempted to at least try and attack these guys this turn Moving to designated coordinates. it would not make me sad oh you can't see them how can you know oh, this is in her way uh that hurts because i probably is gonna gonna sink that problem is i can fire with him eh, maybe i will here's what i don't like I have an outstanding chance to hit the Prime. He's got three armor and, you know, Yamada doesn't have shredding. And then, well, this guy still has two armor, but I only have a 72% chance. I mean, I could just take this shot. It just feels weak. And then the question is, you know, like, will either sharpshooter really be able to do anything? I don't know where these guys are going to go, but I, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm very concerned about time in this mission, and I would very much like to, you know, move it along here as far as taking on groups. So, let's see how this goes. You can see already, um, if I move here, I can still see them, and I'm obviously closer. Let's do that. It was gray. Son of a... So all I did is rob myself of being able to take a shot. If I want to do anything at all, it has to be this. Wow, I hate using a grenade this early, but whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I'm better off chilling with him for the moment. I'm going to come over here. Yeah. Let's do this. I have a decent chance at the kill if I get a crit. I didn't. I think I'm like... What, two damage off? Yeah. Well. I'm going to do this. I should be able to use this pistol to get the kill. I have no chance to take down the prime. With him behind full cover... 
And I only have a couple guys left. That's the bigger issue here. So let me see. I got these two, and that's it. So you know what I'm going to do? Man, I'm using a lot of resources this turn. But I am going to chuck a Mimic Beacon. It's being very twitchy. Here we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go on Overwatch, and we'll see what happens. Low damage, low damage, low damage. I, I cannot complain about five damage. We got some new friends, huh? I mean, <clears throat> obviously, I'd rather engage one pot at a time. You know, it really, really bugs me when enemies just straight up ignore a Mimic Beacon. Like, why why are they in the game? If it's not going to do the thing that it's there to do. I do not like that. And I feel like um, Better Advent is majorly leaning into disregarding Mimic Beacons. I'm noticing that a lot in this campaign and it really irks me. Let's get some shredding in. But yeah, you know, it's a really limited resource and I use it and instead of actually getting something out of it, it's just like, eh, nah, I don't feel like it. It's not, it's not cool. Um... I probably won't get a better shot than this at this guy. All right, good. So he's done. And I'm pretty confident he was the most dangerous thing on the map. Not that these two are a joke. So here's the question. Um, ooh, I don't really want to bring him. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my sapper. Oh, hold on. Can you make it to cover? No. All right. Then I won't worry about it. Actually, I will worry about it. I take it back. I'm going to come here oh. with him. I was going to move him up there, but what I realized is my whole plan is to use a grenade. Uh, is this going to make the walls go away? I'm not positive. But if nothing else, it should at least make it half cover. Grenade out. And I'll get some shredding on this guy. Okay. So rather than move... Oh no, I think I do want to move. I think I do. You know what? I'm just going to come up. I'm not going to worry about cover because we're going to take both of these guys. All right, witch killer. Target down. You can't see him. That's annoying. Can you... No, you're not going to see him from there. Well, I may... Okay, here we go. I was going to say, I may have made a really big tactical error. Uh, and this guy's not dead yet. But he is not So let me just think for a second. We killed Mouton Prime plus Mouton. And then... These two guys, that's four. There's 13 enemies on this map. I'm just trying to keep, you know, a good approximation of what's left. Because we do know there's a Gatekeeper Prime. And you know what I would really like? If I didn't have to fight him at the same time I do, like, ten other guys. So it looks like this is another pod of two. 
And so that means if we can take these guys out, there would be seven left. Okay, which again, I don't really... So, okay, and this looks like a pot of three. So that leaves the gatekeeper and three other guys. I really, again, I really want to fight the gatekeeper separately, man. Like, I mean, he may be with something else, but I do not at all want to um, take on him and a bunch of other dudes. That's just not my idea of a good time. Do I want to move down here? Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to get a flank, supposedly. And I'll shred him. I mean, he only has one armor, but I don't care. Okay. Oh, God. Well, that sucked. Well, I'm going to have to reveal him again. Alright, this will be a hard shot because he's got the blue screen rounds. Come on, baby. Woohoo! 23! Ouch! Okay, um... Tell you what I think I want to do here. I'm going to move you forward. I mean, it might just be worth taking that shot. What's his shot? 73? I was going to go on Overwatch, but I don't think that makes any sense. We have some pretty viable shots here. A big issue I'm going to have... I'm not going to be able to see with him. What i got to do is come up here and just go on Overwatch. Scanning. And then I'll take this shot. I mean, 100%. You're going to be kidding me. I'm not passing that up. And I'm not going to use a Mimic Beacon on this idiot. So, if he moves forward... Oh, maybe even if he doesn't move forward. I might, I might be able to take this clown out. Moving to position. Very possible. Let's see what happens. There you go. X-ray neutralized. So seven guys left. And we know where three of them are. Hmm. Can I like come here? Okay. I'm not keen on, you know, dashing right now. But I do think I'm going to do like dashing like this. So I'm not going to open up any new ground. I'll put you on Overwatch. But I am, I'm going to try and get as stacked up here as I can and get ready to go out there. I think I want to reload here. I'm not positive, you know, how much time I'll have later to reload and getting down to two ammo is, you know, pretty light, put it mildly. Actually, I could always just go through there. Um, I mean, he has five. I, but I don't think anyone's coming. I'm just going to reload. I'm really grateful this guy is not hitting it, you know, super hard. But I do need to be careful here. Okay, so there's some kind of alert. I'm not 100% sure what that means. But I'm I'm just gonna do it. Like if we're gonna trigger a pod or oh that's weird, whatever. Like I kind of want to just do it. Sure thing. 
It doesn't look like I'm triggering anybody though. Orders confirmed. On the move. Which, in some ways, is kind of bad. <laughs> okay. So again, not that I wouldn't have minded getting closer with everybody before triggering. Oh, look at this. There is another pod over here. Okay, I could have done without that. Because now I don't even have any targets. So, very unlikely, you know, that I can get a kill at all. Yikes. I don't dare dash forward. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Um, oh, where am I going? All right, I'll come here. I can only hope that on their turn, they come after me. That's really what I need them to do. Like, don't hang back and attack the stupid device. Come for us. They're going to just destroy the device before I can even get there. The other thing that's bad about this is we know there was somebody right out here. And of course, what I want is to fight these guys separately. Well, at least... I was going to say, at least that guy is not attacking us, but he actually is. He's a million miles away. That doesn't stop him. But, uh, what I need to do really badly is take these guys. So, I'm going to move up and pray I don't, um, you know, reveal a new pod. Okay, so that mission is accomplished. Now, this is like, we, we just have to do this. We got to shred them. We got to strip their cover. I mean, that's really good. So now... Oh, it seems like they have really good defense or something. Yeah, 15% defense. Um, I have an identical chance to hit both. And they're both the exact same enemy type. What's up, Ray? Yeah? What is it? What's up, little buddy? Wanna come back up? Come on. Come on. Yeah, you left just as I started to record. Don't you remember that? You're always welcome, though. You know that. You know that. Okay. Um, I can go for the kill. Um, you know what? I should get this kill. I have a 160% chance to crit, which is <laughs> pretty damn good. Okay. Um, Ben, you want to try and do the honors here? I would move forward, but I don't think that's necessarily a smart plan right now. So we got those two guys down, which, you know, I think is a really, really good thing. Now for her, uh, I think I just want to come here. So she literally can't even see that guy. And since her aim is going to be so bad, I'm just going to reload. When you're disoriented, you can't hit anything. I will put him on Overwatch. And I'll put him on Overwatch. And hopefully this guy... No. Nope, miss. He missed, right? He had to miss. Oh, not that. 
Not bad. Neutralize all remaining enemies and secure the AO. Commander, the data yeah, they screwed me. We've lost whatever information it managed to What's pull from the you, advent network. Huh? You, you doing okay? Oh my goodness. You are really a little love bug right now, aren't you? Alright, so... I don't need to worry about time anymore, unfortunately. Um, they wrecked the device. So, uh, there you go. Now Ray is settled. I pull the microphone a little closer. It's all right, Ray. It's all right. So, we're engaged with the one guy, and I would really like to collect the loot. But it probably makes more sense to worry about avoiding any more damage than we've already taken. Um... My problem is he has cover that is not destructible. Does anybody let me let me check something. I do have hollow targeting, but the problem is I can't move close enough behind and still be behind cover to use it. Yeah, this is great. Um well, I'm just going to take this shot. So I'm kind of thinking... Okay, that's really good. I'm kind of thinking if I can just get some some shots here, like they don't necessarily have to all be super high quality or anything. But just shots. Then maybe I can take this guy. I'm on the move. Can't see him. Great. Moving to position. All right. Well, I'm just gonna get in closer. Enemy is still oh, up. He's got one health. Oh no. Okay. I, it, it's fine. So she's still disoriented. I'm not gonna move. And I'll just put him on Overwatch. Um. I don't dare move him forward. Overwatch. I will do that. I probably should have moved him back, to be honest. I guess I still have my dreams of collecting this, but it's actually a very foolish thing to do. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I need every Overwatch I can get. Okay, he's going to jump again. Oh my god, he's even farther away. I was afraid of this. So I have this idiot with one health, and now I have Do that, then. a gatekeeper and three snakes. Okay. Let me, uh, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. He's on Overwatch. Damn you. Well, I kind of have different fish to fry at this point. Alright, two snakes. Okay, I'm just thinking, there's a gatekeeper, so we don't want to be bunched up. We do not. Um, just trying to get a sense. So the walls are 100% solid. I have a mimic beacon. I think it's on 
I don't know, I used it and then I shot with him. One of the reasons I shot with him is I was thinking I still had one. So I cannot use a Mimic Peak in this turn. Well, you know what that makes me want to do is, um, do I have aid protocol? She's got aid protocol, right? But she can't use it because she's still disoriented. Is that what's going on here? So somehow I have to try and draw this guy's fire. Man, that's just what I want is to potentially get wounded. All right. Oh, okay. I thought it would, uh, you know, trigger his overwatch. But unfortunately, I, I didn't hit him, so. You know, not not that useful as it turns out. What if I come in closer? Oh, he's... Yeah, he's still on Overwatch. Okay, just fire at me. Please miss. Please miss. Thank you. I have to kill this guy. I can't just let him... You know, keep teleporting in behind me and screwing me like that. So now, I thought that would clear her disorientation, but apparently not. I think what I need to do is move him back. I don't want the gatekeeper to be able to see him, period. And I don't dare stay here. On the move. Because then I'm flanked from that angle. I'll go ahead and go on Overwatch. I think, oh man, I don't even know that it's safe to stay where she's at. I don't think I want to. I'm kind of thinking I come back here. To Overwatch. So, can he even see... Okay. He was able to see one of us. I was hoping he wouldn't be able to. Okay. Fire over here. I'm feeling a little tense here. The good news is she's no longer disoriented. And that's important because I need to get some shots on this guy. And I need to do it with someone who has shredding, which she does. I need her and I need uh, my sapper. Oh, and Ben also has it. Okay, so I got to try to start softening this guy up right now. That was good damage. shredding. I didn't do, you know, hardly any damage. I'm wow. Oh, it's Zeus. Okay, I didn't even realize it was him. Um, I may need to just move him away. I mean, at least unless I can heal him, because Roger that. he's either our highest ranking um, sharpshooter or marksman, or he's like number two or something. He's way up there. And I mean, for me to throw his life away would just be colossally stupid. Well, this is a dangerous thing to do, but if there's a safe way to fight a gatekeeper, I haven't found what that is yet. 
And now his armor is all gone. Damn. Okay, well, I don't have a choice now. I have no choice but to heal him. A gatekeeper prime. I mean, that's a, a really nasty setup. And frankly, one that I'm a little concerned uh, could kill one or more of my guys here. Because the problem I have is for me to bring my firepower to bear, we're going to be way more clustered than I want. And yet, I I literally have to like I can't I cannot allow this guy to live. Please hit. It. Okay, that was huge because we basically would have zero chance of taking this guy out. Okay. I'm pinned down here. Hold on, does he have the mimic beacon? Okay. So that's going to be my lifeline, I think, is, you know, potentially I can throw the beacon right there. Uh, although they just ignore beacons all the time, but whatever. <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to step up and I'm going to try and get the kill. It is not guaranteed. Even if I hit, I could still not get it, but I got to try. I'm one point of damage short. And now he gets another attack. Thank God he missed. That was close. And this is my last action. So moving him, yeah, maybe it was a mistake. I maybe it was a mistake. It didn't feel like it at the time, but in hindsight, it probably was. Okay, so what I have to hope is that he doesn't do that stupid gateway thing, that he actually fires at it, which it looks like he did. Okay. So, the bad news is, unfortunately, these snakes now can do whatever the hell they want. I get that, but at least we didn't get wrecked by the gatekeeper. Okay. I mean, could have been worse. That's all I'm saying. Snake with frickin' um, Overwatch back there. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna break his cover. What would this do? I Man, honestly, this might be better. I kill the gatekeeper. I wreck the cover and do damage to this snake. Boom. And the funny thing is, if I want to, I think I can even do this again to the other guy. Yeah, because of Salvo. I thought he had Salvo. So I'll do this. I mean, you know, I, I think this makes good sense. I'm pretty sure his cover will still be there. But I will have gotten a lot out of his turn. So, um, that, just confirming, that did break its, you know, what do you want to call it? It's Overwatch. And, I mean, it's a decent shot. It's probably about as bad, good as I'm going to get. Not good. Not good enough, as it turns out. I may just leave Zeus out of all this. On my way. Let me move up. Alright, at least we take this guy out. So, gotta kill the last guy. Um, well, I'll go as close as I can. 3%. Can I do this? No. No, I'm not close enough. Well, then I'm just going to take the shot. I've taken worse. 
Got there. I think I had at least one more guy who could have fired, so... But the important thing is we failed the mission. I mean, I got beat up all to hell, and I failed the mission. Uh, we were doing pretty well there, you know? And then when we revealed that group, uh, I forget what you call them, but the guys that were like Templars, and two of them just went right up onto the device for melee range, they beat the holy hell out of it. I, I, I want to say they did that twice each, but at least once each. And then the gatekeeper opened up on it, which there's no way I could stop that. So I don't, <clears throat> I want to be clear. I'm not saying that I know for a fact it was impossible to win the mission, but I'm saying in our approach, at least at that point, I don't see anything we could have done it would have made a difference. Um, maybe if I had like both of my mimic beacons and I could have set up that first turn in such a way that I threw them as I revealed that first pod, is it possible that maybe I could have drawn their fire and the gatekeeper's fire at least for that turn? Maybe, but we already watched one of these guys just totally ignore the Mimic Beacon earlier. So it's not guaranteed. And then the biggest problem is if you activate that whole pod and the Gatekeeper's whole pod, that's seven guys, including some really dangerous enemies. How are you surviving that exactly? So no promotions. And a lot of guys going to be in the infirmary. The only good news is that two of them will be healed up in just a couple of days. And even one of the others in six. But uh, it's very concerning to me. And we have a lot of guys who are tired. Not getting that intel is pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. I don't fail a lot of missions. And it really really bothers me you know when I do uh, and the, this was I hadn't this wasn't one of the two that we knew about that were in progress so I assume this was the hidden dark event and because we failed this completed immediately after our failure so enemy tech and psionic defense are doubled I guess that means hacking is harder I think I think that's what they're saying. So I need intel. I got to get up to 80. I'm a little bummed right now, but we did our best. I mean, yeah, what can you do? All right, we're we're this is not the cutscene <laughs> campaign. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing we, by for your orders in the field. That's right. The codex appears as an anomalous form. We'll go ahead and do the next one. state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds. We are not going to be doing, you know, this this mission right now because we're so beat up. Based on the most recent findings. 26 enemies. I think I'll let uh, Syke and do that. Out in the woods, away from any populated areas. Okay, can I can I please get back to? God, I, I hate it when the game does that. Like, I understand you're showing me where the mission is now. Will you please let me play? <laughs> okay, so we do have one guy back from his wounds, and I need to go to the proving grounds. How many cores? We have a ton of cores. And honestly, I'm still, I still wouldn't mind having Venom rounds. We still don't have them. I'm going to go ahead and do another I'll one. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. And another guy just got back from his wounds. Now it's a sergeant, but still, like, we need bodies, man. That's a bad one, that event. 
We really need like eight, ten days of recovery time here. I gotta tell ya. We're going to slow them down. We'll I don't know if we're going to get it, but we need now, it. Commander. Okay, a lot of income. Is a daunting task, Commander, but your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made Let's the see. Right approach. We will have yeah, she's the only one left. And it's funny, I haven't killed either one of uh, these two. Saiken did that. Which I'm fine with. I don't really enjoy the Chosen missions. I'm not afraid of them. I, I obviously do them in every campaign. But it isn't something that, you know, I get any great pleasure out of. I don't enjoy that last room. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So, you know, I, don't, I definitely don't mind him doing them. I'll say that. Uh, do we care about any of this? Um, I mean, this is so much better than that. Uh, getting additional loot is helpful. So, um, and this is helpful. So, let's see. I mean, XP, we need all we can get. Yeah, I don't have a problem with any of these. So we'll stay with what we got. I want to ignore it for now. I need just nine more intel. So I don't want to leave here until we get to 80. Resistance communications facility now operational. Okay. I don't really care. Sure. At least we're getting some guys healthy again. Damn ambush. Okay, well, I will do the ambush. And if you're new to the channel, then um, just so you know, what I'll do is I'll record this and I'll post it as like a separate mini episode. And then I'll come back and the rest of this episode will be the scanning and stuff before we turn it over to Psyche and for a real mission. I'm not going to kind of cheat him by saying, here, it's your turn, and your mission is just to do this stupid little ambush. So, um, here we go. Our recent action has led to the discovery of new information about the Elders Chosen. The skirmishers respect your way. Um, okay, so we got another faction slot like 10 minutes after we got to pick for the month. That's really cool. Oh, uh, whatever. I, I can't be bothered to read this right now. So we got a promotion. All right. Now that we finished one covert up, let's uh, see what we can do with another one. Looks like, of course, we could do this. Um... I was just checking to see if there were any promotions on the table because, man, we could use some of those. Here's one. And a superior PCS isn't terrible either. Here's another one. Okay. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to click on that. So... I wish some of these guys weren't tired. I mean, I don't mind sending Hogbite out to get bo boosted. I'd rather send Washington. You know, screw it. I'm just going to send him. We need... Well, are we even going to bring one on the final mission? That's actually a fair question. Probably not. It has to be one of the majors. I'm pretty sure, um, you know what? I'm going to let a day pass. Um, and then I'm going to start it. Okay. 
We're ready to move when I you didn't are, expect Commander. that. I've updated our objectives based on the So let's go back to regular Commander. research. Oh, the hunter weapons. Yeah, yeah. I will send words oh man, that's so good. Okay, uh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to the resistance ring. Covert actions. Now I should have way more options, um, including the Reaper. This is what we want. I think. It just makes sense. Um, the other thing, I mean, she's tired, but we could do that. Do I have anybody else at Major? No. Let's send the Reaper. We need Colonels. That's really where I'm coming from right now. I need a low level soldier. So I'll send him. Ooh. Moderate. Man, this sucks because I don't want to spend 25. I just got over 80. And now I have to give up 25 of it. But I also don't want Washington wounded. All right. I'll do it. Mm. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Yeah, that kind of hurt me. What's the upgrade do? Oh, interesting. I don't know how badly we need that. Okay, well, we got another tracer rounds. I guess I'm just never gonna get to see the flipping. Um, <laughs> Hold on, it's not scanning. The Venom rounds, whatever. I don't care. Can I just get up to 80 and stay there? Alright, well... Whew, finally. We did get a couple of guys back. Um... Hopefully, Saiken uh, can do better than me. This is good. So this gives us two guys back, including a major. That was part of what was limiting me um, in this. So, yeah, like, holy crap, what a difference. Our roster was just filled with guys who were tired, and then we also had a number of wounded. So now, you know, Saiken will actually have a nice deep pool to pull from. And, um, yeah, he shouldn't have much trouble with this mission, hopefully. I don't want to jinx him. But at any rate, that's going to finish a brutal day for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope we see you next time.